Welcome to your Go Market Update charts of the day for today, Wednesday, the 10th of January 2024. Thanks for being senior analyst to lead you around the markets as we are in the middle of the Asian session today. Across the news, US markets are soft, failed to follow through on the previous day's gains. Only the NASDAQ managed to close slightly positively as perhaps a little bit of caution before that CPI number and the World Bank growth for forecast not being positive could be playing on market minds as could of course the start of earnings season at the end of the week so quite a bit for the markets to digest so u.s futures are flat in asian trading and asian markets are mostly soft following that weak u.s lead asx is around about 0.2 percent down midway through the session nikai is the outperformer in fact nikai is the only major index in asia at this stage to the upside european futures also pointing to a cautious open US dollar index is mildly positive overnight and is sitting at the top of short-term range, whereas gold is still holding short-term support at 2030 on the CFD contract. Copper, however, reached its 200 EMA and is at monthly low. Copper did look as though it might start to recover, but the sellers look as though they're in. All is trading mid-range, but we do have the EIA data out in the US about an hour into the US market. Bitcoin managed to hold over the key 45,000 level, but dropped from the previous day a significant move to the upside. Interesting to see if we continue to hold that and push on further. But at this stage in Asia, it does look a little shy. Australian inflation data was slightly lower than expected when it was released this morning. It is a quiet day today, today nothing really of significance uh, to come out later. CPI, of course, out of the US tomorrow, Chinese CPI on Friday. And also US earnings even with the banks starting on Friday all give the markets plenty to think about right now. A couple of charts at Core RI. AWC on the ASX looked very positive. You can see that breach of the 200 MA. It is up in excess of 10%. We've been talking about this stock for some time. This now looks as though it might be ready to travel up towards this 135 level. One to really keep an eye on. See where it closes at the end of the day. But this is obviously a very positive move. In the FX world, the Euro Aussie looks interesting on the 30-minute chart. You can see since open, we've dropped off fairly significantly. Just to put this into context, it's using the 200 MA as resistance at this stage. So we could see this drop down to the bottom of a short-term range, which would be around about this 162.78. So around about 50 pips from where we are now. So one to keep an eye on over the next few hours. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.